So let's rewind a little bit now that we've covered the basics of uh, animation technique and promotion and go back to the toolbar and uh, see what's available for us. The top two rows simply are either squares or circles that you can work with and holding plus or minus enlarges or shrinks it. And uh, in the case of these tools, whichever color you have selected from your palette, uh, or either from your palette directly or from the image by pressing comma or this little color picker tool, that's the color that you'll be drawing with, as opposed to grabbing the brush part of the image, in which case it draws with the actual colors found in that piece of image. Um, so that's those top two rules. And then here, these two tools are very similar to each other. Uh, the difference being that this one here is a uh, continuous drawing mode, and this other one, as you can see by the dots, basically will space out whichever brush you're using as much as is necessary to keep up with your mouse position at all times. Um, and then there is line drawing, and this here is an airbrush uh, painting mode, just a very simple uh, scattered dither. Uh, it's not using any alpha blending whatsoever. Uh, then there's rectangle, which can be either filled rectangle, which is what it's, which is what it's set to now, or uh, just an outline rectangle. Uh, same thing with circle, it's current, or ellipse, it's currently set to filled. Uh, these two tools are the tools for grabbing a brush or a piece of your image. Too. Same thing as pressing B once or twice. Pressing B once will grab a rectangular portion. Pressing B twice will allow you to freehand grab the portion. And remember, uh, plus and minus works with these just as well, as well as rotating uh, and flipping and different uh, ways that you can do that. Um, it's definitely worthwhile to learn those short keys. Uh, let's see, after that, there's the classic flood fill, which uh, make sure you're drawing with a continuous line or have a continuous shape. And if you press F it by default, or just click on this little pink bucket here, you will fill that area. Of course, if there's a hole or a gap in your art, flood fill will leak out and fill much more than you wanted it to. Um, this is simply magnify, which allows you to zoom in either simply by clicking or by specifically picking the area you want to zoom in on. Um, and I, you can also just zoom using the uh, center mouse button. Uh, so go the wheel. Uh, CLR simply will clear the screen. Uh, and T is a uh, very simple text. Set different formats, pick all the two type fonts you have installed in your folder, in your uh, typical plot folder. Um, and as you notice, it does not anti alias the plots. This is working in index color mode. This can actually be really handy for you if you want to create fonts that are very low color or just not anti alias at all, or if you want to do that by hand. Uh, very useful for creating. Uh, very clean, especially the smaller ones with uh, little or no anti -alias. Um This is simply your typical hand grab thing for scrolling around the screen. It's also useful to know the arrow keys will do the same, and pressing N by default will center the screen based on wherever your uh, mouse pointer currently is. Uh, Anti-alias is a drawing mode that automatically will use whatever colors in the palette that mathematically is the best to create uh, a sort of feathering or, or blurring effect to get rid of uh, the jaggies as you draw. I don't use that much, but it can be handy. And then there's the color picker, and then a couple of other things I'm going to cover. Uh, undo and redo is quite obvious what they do, um, but that's that's the basics of it, and we'll get 